people, when you're on the streets, you don't get to experience Christmas. And so we're able to bring Christmas to them. A Valley nonprofit is doing all they can to make sure everyone has a Merry Christmas. Well, the team at Cloud Covered Streets spent the day passing out Christmas presents to the homeless in Glendale. I heard you were a very good girl this year, so Santa wanted to make sure we got you something. Dressed as Santa Claus himself, Robert Thornton, the executive director of Cloud Covered Streets, spent the day bringing smiles to the homeless. Everyone here today got a very special Christmas gift, a new pair of Nikes. When you're on the streets, footwear, high quality footwear is hard to find, so it's, it's a great Christmas gift for them. Along with the new kicks, they got a hot meal, a warm shower, and a new haircut. We all want to be clean, you know, we all we all want to have people around us being nice to us. So we were able to provide a, a Christmas dinner today. So we had turkey, we had mashed potatoes, stuffing. Robert says just because someone's homeless, it doesn't mean they deserve to be treated any less than equal. The most important thing to them is just to have people that are just going to be nice to them and, and let make them feel like a human being, ask and know their name, call them by their name. And there's so many things that when you're experiencing homelessness, you don't receive. And so it's like we, we try and go out of our way to, to show them that I see you as a human being, I respect you, and just let them know that somebody cares about them, somebody loves them. We've met so many amazing people, they just happen to be right now experiencing homelessness, but it doesn't mean they're any less of a human than the rest of us. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas! Well, they're going to hand out about 200 shoes this holiday season. If you'd like to help with donations or volunteering your time, we've got a link with all you need to know in the story on our website right now, azfamily.com.